Hey what up guys welcome to my channel it's Dev Android and today we're going to talk about is how to enable and disable the right protection of the USB storage device whether it's pen drive or any kind of USB external device or external hard drive it will work for that too so before going further first let me explain what exactly is the right protection so when you enable the right protection you will not be able to copy anything on that drive or you will not be able to delete anything from that drive so let's say you got kids or anyone else you know playing with your pen drive and you got some important work important office work in there and you don't want them to accidentally delete that stuff they will not be able to do it once you enable the right protection of that drive unless unless they watch my video and know how to disable it you know can't do anything about that but first let's go and check how it's done Alright, so I had few people asking me about this through personal messages and comments, so finally decided to make a video about it. Okay, so first thing you need to do is connect your pen drive or whatever USB device you're using to your computer. And after doing that, you need to open command prompt. If you don't know how to use command prompt, just click on start and type cmd. You'll get a program called cmd.exe and that is command prompt. Just click it and it will open a small window. Okay, so after doing that, you need to type disk part as shown in the video right after the system32 and press enter. It will show the basic information of your computer. Now you need to type list disk space in between and then click enter. It will show you the all the active disks on your computer. In this case, disk 0 and disk 1. So disk 0 is the internal hard drive on your computer and disk 1 is the removable disk that we have just connected right now. So after doing that, you need to type select disk 1 and press enter. That means disk 1 is now the selected disk. Now type attributes disk and press enter that will show you the attributes about that disk that means current read only state is no that means this disk is not write protected and i'm gonna show you how to do it okay so after that you need to type attributes disk set read only and press enter that means we're going to set the attributes of this disk to read only now it will say disk attributes set successfully. Now type attribute disk and press enter. Now you will see that the read only status has changed from no to yes. That means your disk is now right protected. Voila! Now go ahead on my computer and see it for yourself. That is your removable disk right there. Now you see different files in this removable drive. Now we'll go ahead and copy a file from computer. And now we'll come back to this removable disk and right click and click on paste. And then you will get this window. The disk is right protected. So now that we have enabled the right protection, let me show you how to disable it. Come back to the command prompt window. We already have this box selected. So if you have closed the window of command prompt, then you will have to repeat the process that we did before from uh, selecting this part, then list disk, and then selecting the disk. As I already have disk one selected, I'm gonna continue with the process. So all you have to do is type attributes disk clear read only and that will clear all the right protection that I had applied to that drive and the status from read only we changed from yes to no and that is pretty much it. Okay let's go back to the removable disk and see if it worked. So we already have that uh, previous uh, file copied on the clipboard so we have to go right click on that drive and click on paste see the file is now copied on the drive 
and that means we have successfully removed the right protection. Alright, so if you have any problems or queries, you can comment below and ask me whatever you want. I'll try to solve it if I can. And also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at RealDevonDroid. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. And also turn on the notification button. So when you turn on the notification bell, that means every time I upload new video, you'll get notified. So you don't have to come to my page every time I upload new videos. So there might be something useful for you on my channel. So you don't want to miss on that. Alright, so thank you for watching and if you already subscribe and like this video and watch my other videos too, thank you so much for your support and see you next time.